Greetings, Dr. Hadzik here. This video is sponsored by Nasora's Neuroblack app. And before we get started, here's why you should watch this video. If you are an anesthesia professional, you will get the details of the anesthesia protocols we use for primary hip replacement surgery, as well as our setup in Nysora, where we do over 1,000 hip replacements annually. And if you are a patient, this video will explain in easily understandable terms the journey that you will take during your hip replacement. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the Sora YouTube channel. In this video, I will take you on a short patient journey by following one patient who is having hip replacement surgery. Hip replacement is a major procedure which, when done well in a busy hip replacement center, it results in a substantial increase in the quality of life. The survey of our patients indicate that more than 95% of patients are happy with the hip replacement procedure. In our center, all of our patients are preconditioned and prepared for the hip replacement surgery. They are assigned a hip coach who builds their confidence, provides guidance. In addition, patients receive the real-time relevant information at every stage of their preparation and recovery. As a brief introduction, hip replacement uses non-human, durable, artificial material to replace worn or damaged hip joint. The surgery restores a smooth ball and socket function and relieves joint pain. And with exercise and physical therapy, muscle strength and range of motion comes back. For well over 95% of those patients receiving new hip joint, the quality of life returns to normal. Surgical technique is extremely important in that newer techniques such as direct anterior hip replacement reduces the size of surgical incisions and limits the damage to the muscle tissue. This makes the hip replacement procedure less invasive, resulting in faster recovery times, which may even outperform patient expectations. Better materials and designs used for artificial hips today means that prosthetics now last longer than ever and many patients have the potential not to need another surgery later in life. Our center is a center of excellence and it is visited by international teams of surgeons and anesthesiologists who come to our center to copy our protocols to take them back home to their own institution. And in this short video, I will take you by the hand through a patient journey having total hip replacement As you come to the hospital, you will be greeted by our knowledgeable nursing staff trained in hip replacement care. And after a short interview and an IV is placed, you will be taken to the anesthesia block room where you are going to receive pre-medication to decrease any anxiety and discomfort during anesthesia interventions. Once you are comfortable, you will receive spinal anesthesia through a minuscule needle placed in your back and a hip block to decrease the pain after the operation. With the pre-medication that we will give you through your IV, you will likely not feel or even remember any of this. After greeting your surgeon, you will be taken to the operating room to meet the staff in the operating room who will be working with your surgeon. During the operation you may be awake and listen to the music or lightly asleep if you prefer as your anesthesiology team will be with you at all time to make sure that you are always comfortable. The surgery itself will last only 35 to 40 minutes as every step of your anesthesia and surgery is optimized and standardized. And after the operation is completed, you will be transferred to the recovery room for watchful observation. The fast track patients are also encouraged to walk some two hours after the operation, which has a huge psychological benefit to the patient. In summary, for my colleagues, healthcare professionals, 
I was trying to make a point that the key differentiators that I believe make a difference in patient outcome having hip replacement surgery at top centers are personalized and tailored care, hyper-specialized teams, including a patient coach, patient-centered trajectory for the best possible outcomes, and the ultimate goal is a dynamic life without restrictions and pain. If you are a patient, here are my three top recommendations. I would make sure that my surgeon uses minimally invasive surgical techniques, namely direct anterior hip replacement. Number two, that my surgeon hyper-specializes in hip surgery. And number three, the hospital or a clinic where I'm having my hip replacement is a high volume hip replacement center that assures standardization and consistent outcome. What do you do in your practice to keep improving the outcome of hip replacement surgery? And what protocols do you use for fast tracking hips? I hope you find the information in this video useful. And if so, please subscribe and help us grow the channel so the others can find this practical information that can be of help to our patients as well. Thank you for watching.